welcome to this video about the Proximity Box from Robotics. The Proximity Box is a compact, weatherproof interface box with integrated microwave radar sensor technology, which can be connected to all cameras with an MX bus connection. The purpose of the Proximity Box is to detect moving objects by emitted and reflected radar waves. It can serve as a useful supplement to the passive infrared sensor due to the possible installation even behind drywalls and wooden, glass and plastic materials at a distance of up to 100 meters to the camera. The behavior of radar sensors differs significantly from the one of sensors based on infrared technology. Whilst infrared sensors are relatively insensitive to movements in a perpendicular direction, straight line approaching or leaving, for example a person moves towards the front door, or a vehicle approaches a gate. Radar sensors are the most sensitive in these cases. Included in delivery of the proximity box, there is a screwdriver, three plugs, a 0.5 meter long MX bus cable, a security bit, two flat washers, two stainless steel wood screws, and two dowels. Select the location for installing the device so that the objects you want to detect are within the detection area of the box, which is 80 degrees horizontally, and 34 degrees vertically. Note that the detection precision is best if the objects are moving perpendicular in front of the label of the proximity box. A person can be detected in a distance of 15 meters and cars 35 meters. It is not possible to install the MX proximity box behind some materials since they absorb or reflect the radar waves, for example metal or metal coated surfaces. Before proceeding, make sure there is no current on the MX bus wires. Remove the three security screws of the box cover using the enclosed security bit and remove the cover. Attach the proximity box at the mounting position with the cable ports pointing downwards. Next, cut the existing or the delivered MX bus wires to size. When using single wires, strip the insulation of the wires for 5mm and push the wires through the single wire plug. When using a cable with jacket, you can use the appropriate cable plug. Connect the MX bus wires to the terminals of the proximity box using the screwdriver. Make sure to maintain the polarity. Mount the cover back onto the proximity box and connect it using the cover screws. Connect the MX bus wires to the opposite side as described in the corresponding manual to the Mobotics camera or to another MX bus module connected to a camera. Make sure not to exceed the overall length of the MX bus wiring which is 100 meters. Initial operation of the MX proximity box. Open the Mobotics camera's user interface which is connected to the proximity box in the browser by entering its IP address. Open the admin menu. Then manage MX bus modules and make sure the MX bus interface is connected. Activate the proximity box. Once the box has been activated, click on MX message configuration and load the configuration of the connected devices. Next, configure the messages of the MX message system. This is necessary so that the module can send messages when a sensor is being triggered. One can configure an individual message for each sensor, if needed with individual values. When the module is displayed, click on Edit Messages. Let's imagine the following scenario for the upcoming configuration example. An outdoor area is to be monitored. The proximity box is to be used for this purpose. If an object such as, for example, a vehicle or a person approaches the box, an alarm is to be triggered. For this example, the message approach will be created. Make sure that the message names are self-explanatory, so that it is easier to relate the messages correctly. Then click on the proximity box and on Add. Select the appropriate message name. The recurrence time defines the time after which the message can be sent again. Then add your movement profile for triggering events. Predefined approaching, leaving, and movement profiles combine the corresponding parameters. The custom profile allows setting individual values for special purposes. In order to store the configuration, click on Transfer Entire Configuration and then Set and Close. The MX message approach will be sent when the corresponding movement profile of the proximity box is being triggered. You can now switch signal outputs by using the MX message system, for example, a light connected to an MX output box. Furthermore, it is still possible to configure events. 
To do so, open the setup menu. Click on Event Overview, then Message Events and edit them. As sensor type, select the MX message system and enter the MX message you have configured in the configuration of the proximity box. To define an action for the event approach, Go in the Setup menu to Action Group Overview. Add a new group. Mark the respective event approach in the event selection area. Add a new action. In our case we want the camera to play a sound when the sensor of the proximity box is being triggered. proximity box has been in use before with another camera, it is possible that the left hand side LED blinks red. In this case the module has to be reset to factory default. To do so, bridge the contacts inside the module by using a screwdriver. Release the bridge only when the LED of the proximity box blinks green, indicating the successful operation. You can then activate the module using the camera's web interface. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day!